Hello everybody, thank you for joining me for today's English lesson and in English we're going to carry on looking at different text types and we're going to focus on in particular looking at non-fiction texts. Now can you remember what we looked at last time? We looked at the difference between the fiction books and non-fiction books and we decided that fiction books were books that were stories, they weren't real. For example I said the, the polar bear who or was the bear who said boo. That was a fiction book. It was a story. It was a nice story about a polar bear who went around making um, a boo noises at different animals um, in the Arctic. And I liked that book. It was really nice. But it was a fiction book. It was a story. It wasn't real. And I could tell that because there were lots of cartoon drawings in there as well, which gave me a really good clue. And I knew that I didn't really learn any information from that. I found out some information about animals there and what animals live in the Arctic, but that wasn't the main purpose of the book. The main pur purpose of the book was to entertain me, to make me find it fun. Then we had a look at some non-fiction books, and these books were information books, weren't they? They were facts. They gave us, lot, gave us lots of knowledge about particular subjects. So in that list that I shared with you last week, one of the books that I remember was a book all about weather. So in that book, it would have given you lots of information about different weather types, where you'd find it, about the seasons, all those bits of information. And I could learn that because it was true information. OK, so in this topic in particular, we're going to be looking at lots of nonfiction texts so we can learn more information about the Arctic and the animals that live there. Because remember, at the end of this topic, we want to write an, um, a nonfiction text, um, so which would be a report all about polar bears. OK, so today then I'm going to show you a nonfiction text and this is one that we have in school. So I thought I'd share my screen with you, hopefully if I can get this right, and I'll show you the text that I'd like to have a go at reading at home. And I want you to see if we can find all all of the different features of a non-fiction text. What makes a non-fiction text a non-fiction text and how does that differ from a fiction text instead? So let me see if I can do this. I think I should be able to. Okay, so I'm sharing with you now then my screen, um, which is um, a copy of a text which is non-fiction. And this is called Adventures in the Arctic. And this is the front cover here. So what sort of things do you think we might learn about in this text then? What sort of things do you think I might find out about? Now, I'm looking at the front cover and the main illustration on it there, or the main image, it's not really an illustration, that's a drawing, isn't it? It's more of an image, uh, is a picture of a polar bear. So maybe I could use my inference skills and say what I think I know. And I think this text might be about polar bears or it might be about different animals that are in the Arctic and they might go on adventure, maybe. I don't know. And it says, look what creatures are in the Arctic. What does that word creatures mean? Creatures is like an animal, isn't it? So maybe I'm right. Maybe I will learn about different animals in the Arctic. Let's find out. Oh, what's this then? On the first page when I open this book, I've got one of these. Can you have a go at reading that word out for me? It's k o n t e n t s contents. And it's a contents page. So the contents of something means what's within it. So I might say, what's the contents of your book bag? And the contents of your book bag would be your reading book. You might have a water bottle in there. You might have some letters that I've given you. So that would be the contents. So a contents page just here um, tells us all of the information that we will find inside this book. So in this book, I know I'm going to find out and it's going to be an introduction. OK, it's going to tell me what the book's about. Uh, there's going to be a section about where is the Arctic. There will be a section about the people of the Arctic and there will be the animals of the Arctic as well. Also, I've got a glossary at the end, so I'll come on to the glossary a little bit later on. Now, there's some numbers down here next to these words. Three, four, five, six and seven. Hmm. Could you guys tell me what you think the, these numbers might be for? I think these numbers might be for the pages. So if I wanted to find out in particularly about uh, the animals of the Arctic, I could go straight to page six and I'd find out all my information there. Or if I just wanted to find out where the Arctic was, I could go to page four. Or if I wanted to read it as a book from front to, from cover to cover, then I'd look and start on page three at the introduction and I'd go from there. OK, so let's have a look then. Now, this then is the, introdu um, is the introduction just here. Now, on the, the word introduction just here is kind of in a special box, isn't it, by itself. It's right at the top. And this is going to be our heading. OK, can you see that word heading? 
heading. And our heading tells us um, what this page is going to be about. Now, we've used this a little bit when we started looking at um, instructions, when we wrote instructions about the castles. And um, they're normally at the top of the page, and they're normally underlined, but they're not always underlined. And they just give us an idea about what that page is going to be about. So this page is going to be an introduction about the Arctic. And it says, welcome to the world of ice and cold in the, the Arctic. In the southern part of the Arctic, you will see flat uh, land and small rounded hills. There are many lakes, rivers and streams. In the northern part of the Arctic, there are mountains, glaciers. The sea stays frozen all year. The further north you go, the less trees can grow. Where the trees end, the tundra begins. Trees do not grow on the tundra because it is too cold. The ground is often frozen. Now I can see here, this word tundra is in bold. Now remember that for me because later on, I'm going to come back to that, okay? So this has just given me a little introduction all about the Arctic. Let's have a go onto the next page then. Can you spot on this page for me what the heading is for this page? The heading is, where is the Arctic? And that's the same heading as we found in the contents page. And we're right, it's on page number four, just here. Oh, I've spotted something else though. There's something else just here. It's a question, isn't it? And an image. So the image here is a picture of the Arctic Circle. Okay. There is a little caption that tells us what this image is about. Here is a map of the world and it says, look at it carefully. So it's giving me a bit of information about what that image is about. And there's a question underneath that says, can you find the Arctic Circle? And I bet if we zoomed in a little bit, I don't know if it will let me do that. There we go. We can see the Arctic Circle all around there. So the countries that go inside of this circle here are the Arc is the Arc um, are within the Arctic Circle, and right in the centre is the North Pole. Okay, so that just gives a little task that we can do. Okay, so I'm not going to read all this out to you. I'm going to let you guys do this by yourself later on. Okay, but just remember as well, there's another bold word just here that says Arctic Circle. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the next page then. Okay, so the next page then, I've got another subheading, the people of the Arctic. Um, my page number is not on here. It was on the last one, page four. It looks like it's not on this one, but can you guess what page it would be? It's probably gonna be page number five, isn't it? Now I'm just going to zoom in again for you because in here, I've got some little subheadings. Now these subheadings tell me um, about what each little section on this page is going to be about. So the whole page is going to be the people of the Arctic. But if I wanted to find some more information about, out about these people in the Arctic, I can see just here, it says dress. So if I wanted to find out about what clothes they wore, the people often in the Arctic, I could look at this section just here. And it says, people must dress very warmly in the winter because of the cold winds. They wear long parkas that reach down to their knees. Mothers can keep their babies warm inside their large hoods of their parkas. Most of the clothing is bought from a store, but some still wear traditional olden clothes when they go out in the land. OK, and there's a word there again in bold, so we'll have a little look at that one later. So I could find out about the subheading dress. I could find out about live and how they live there. Um, and I could find out about the food that they eat as well. So it gives me some more ideas about what each section is about. OK. Then I've got another page here, uh, page number six, which is all about animals of the Arctic. And can you see where the subheadings are here? There are one, two, three different subheadings. I'm not going to tell you them because I've got a little job for you to do with that later on. Three different subheadings. Now remember a subheading gives me inf more information about what each section is on that page. Okay, so there's each section um, that I could find that information about, okay. And then I'm going to go on to the last page, which is the glossary. Now, there was a reason why I told you to keep your eyes peeled for those words in bold. Now, in most nonfiction books, you will find a glossary and it's kind of like a dictionary. It gives us, um, if there's a word that we find that we think is a little bit tricky when we're uh, reading and we don't actually know what that means, if it's in bold or sometimes italics, you can see that word italics, which means it's a little bit slanty, um, then they will often be in the glossary. And it gives us a definition which tells us about what that word means. So I said to you guys earlier about the Arctic Circle, didn't I? And if we didn't know what that meant, we could turn to the glossary at the back and it would tell us. And it says that the Arctic Circle is an imaginary circle around the Earth about three quarters of the way from the equator to the North Pole. 
Okay. And if I wanted to find out what blubber was, or traditional, that was one of the ones that I looked at just here, then I could find out those bits of information. Okay. Now, in this nonfiction text here, that's a page that we've got, but in quite a lot of nonfiction texts, you will also find an index page. Now, an index page is um, a little bit like a contents page, but it's more specific. It gives me more information than a contents page. So, for instance, if I wanted to find out about, let me see, um, walruses. OK, so I've chosen this book from the start. I said, right, I want to read this book because it's about Arctic adventures. I think it's going to be about animals, but I want to look at walruses in particular. I could flick right to the back to the index page and in alphabetical order, there would be all of the um, ideas and the topics inside this book. So I'd go all the way down to W and I'd be able to find the word walrus and it would tell me what page I'd be able to find walrus on. So in this book, it would say walrus and after the word walrus, it would say page number six. OK, and I'd be able to find out some bits just there. Okay, so I'm going to stop the screen share for a second and then I'm going to share another screen with you because I have got a job for you guys to get doing today. Okay, now that you've got that information and you've got this book, I've got a bit of shared reading for you guys to do. Okay, so there's now I'm, there's some uh, questions just here. Now I've told you all about the features of this text. I want you to have a really good read through it and really understand it because I think you guys will learn lots of interesting facts from this and it will help you later on with our Arctic work. And um, there's some questions and I wonder if you'll be able to have a go answer, answering them. So about the title, what the title of the text is? The contents page, and it's got some things. What page would, what page would I turn to to find out about the animals of the Arctic? How many headings can you find in this text? Um, there are three subheadings on page five. Can you list them? And in the glossary, it says, can you tell me what the word tundra means? OK, so guys, have a good go at that today. Let me know how you get on. Um, and if you have any problems with that, then let me know. And I look forward to finding your work on our portfolio later on. All right, guys, see you all later. Have a nice day. Bye.